Brian Rayburn and the Tigers trying to extend their winning streak to 10, something they haven't done since 1968. Top two, Johnny Peralta with the two-run blast, his 19th of the season, and that makes it a 2-1 Tigers lead. Next up, Ryan Rayburn bidding for the back-to-back -back Jacks. There's a drive, way back in the left field. Back goes Pierre, see you later. Back-to-back -back home runs for Detroit. Into the bullpen and left, and Rayburn makes it 3-1. A big night for Rayburn, top five men on for Rayburn, and he's bidding for his second home run of the ball game. It won't quite get there, but off the wall, Alex Avila scores. Rayburn goes to third after an error, so it's a double and an error, and it's 7-2 Tigers. Josh Kinney now on for John Danks in top six. The Tigers get bat happy. Miguel Cabrera, RBI single, 9-2 Tigers on top. Same inning. Now 11-2 Tigers, and it's Rayburn once again. This time he rips a single to left. In comes Victor Martinez. Rayburn goes four for five. He scores three times, drives in three. 12-2 Tigers. Still in the sixth inning, Ramon Santiago with the bags full. And that's a fair ball inside the bag. Keep them coming, boys. Rayburn scores, Ink scores, Jackson to third. It's a double, two RBIs for Santiago. The Caps a six-run inning for the Tigers. Rick Porcello, oh, by the way, was on the hill for the Tigers. He did fine here in the bottom of the sixth. It gets Diane Viciato to ground it to the double play. Porcello goes six and two-thirds for his 14th win, and the Tigers win 10 straight for the first time since September of 1968. Of course, they went on to win the World Series that year. There will be no break for the White Sox on Tuesday. Justin Verlander is the probable starter.